So where do you store your hitch when you get to your campground? If you're like me, I just put it on the ground. But some people leave it on the back of the truck and then you walk around the back of your truck and trip on it or you always worry about somebody hitting it in a parking lot. Um, you got your uh, torsion bars, they've got to go someplace, you know, they end up on the ground or they lean them up against the trailer and they fall and hit the trailer. You know, there's really not a good solution until now. While we were at the Florida RV Super Show, we saw a product that I told Diane, we got to get. And luckily, we were able to get one. And it's right here. This is the easy store hitch solution and this one is designed to fit airstreams they have another one that is designed to fit other trailers well let's go to some video we shot at the show and it gets a little more information about this and then we'll open this up and show it to you okay so I'm Jennifer Ernst and I'm with easy store hitch and my father Terry is actually the creator and inventor of the easy store hitch so, so many times we're out there with our travel trailers and we have our hitch and we have our weight distribution bars and where do they go? They go on the ground. They go in the back of our car. They go inside the camper. They get everything greasy. You can't use that storage space. It's just wasted. It's junk. So yep. what do you, you need to get it out. So where do you put it? Well, that's what this was created for. So the Easy Store Hitch is a great device. What it does is it actually attaches around the frame of the front of your camper. So it allows you to, it does not bolt through the camper, but it bolts around it. So you're not going to be impeding any problems with your warranty or anything like that with your camper. You then are able to put your sway bars directly in drop your hitch directly in top. This is oversized on purpose, so it doesn't have to be a tight, it's not gonna be a tight snug because we all know lifting these up, right. they're very heavy. You then use your um, your lock pin to lock your hitch in. So now your hitch, your hitch is locked in and your sway bars are also locked in. There's no way you can get these out while you have your hitch in here. So, but this doesn't work unfortunately on all campers, just like we said with the Airstreams, um, there's not enough room on the front to right. have the full unit. So as a family, we got together two years ago and said, okay, how do we take the same concept but make it applicable to everyone? So that's when we came up with our Easy Store Light. So with the Easy Store Light, it allows you to just put it in right over your A-frame just like that. You, on this one, you're going to actually stack your bars up on top of each other back here. And then you're going to drop your hitch right on top. So if you look at it on this side, you can see that we have our bars stacked on top, our hitches dropped yeah. in, and then this is literally just sitting over the A-frame itself. So one way that, because this doesn't have the security features that the full one does, one thing we thought of is that, okay, if you take a cable lock, you can actually go through your sway bars with the cable lock around the A-frame. We've created extra holes here, so that yep. way you can bring the cable lock up through, lock it all into place. You still use your hitch pin to lock your hitch into place underneath it, so therefore you got some security on that as well. That's pretty neat. So and then what we've also done is that a lot of people are like, well, I don't want to leave my hitch out. You know, this is going to be on the elements now, and I don't want to leave it on the elements like that. So with each of our in the box that we sell them with is a rebate code, and if you just follow the rebate code, we send you a marine gate, marine grade vinyl hitch head cover, like a shower cap, right for your for your hitch. So now it is protecting it from the rain and the cold and the you know whatever. Right. Right there. Wow. Right. Yeah. <coughs> And it keeps uh, the greasy parts kind of, yeah, covered, so. And everything is, now everything, all of your items that you're going to be using right at the front of your camper are right there where you're going to need them. So you're right. not having to lug them far and carry them, you know, they're right there at the front of your camper, right where you're going to pull them off and use them right away. Right. So you can see this is a, a pretty neat design that they've come up with in a way to store your hitch and your uh, sway bars and everything in a nice easy package up off the ground where it's protected. And you can even lock it, which is also one of the nice things about it too. Now full disclosure, they gave us this product to try. They also gave us a discount code that you can use to save some money if you decide you want to buy one. And if you do buy one, we make a couple of bucks off of that which we will use to fund our trips and such. So we would appreciate it if you buy one and use our code. Understand if you don't, but 
let's take a look at this. So this is the first I've we've opened up the box and looked at it since the show. So you're really getting a complete unboxing. There's really not a lot to this here. So this is the product. It is made in the U.S. It's all powder coated steel. So it's very durable. Your hitch receiver slides through here. Your bars stack on this right here. There's a lot of holes in here. You could actually use a zip tie or a large hose clamp and go around this um, device here and lock it to your trailer. Leave it down there all the time if you want. Or you could be like I'm probably going to do and just put it on and take it off as we use it. Um, there's also the capability, if you can see these holes here, your hitch pins go through those, but you also have extra ones that you can put a cable through and lock it to your uh, truck so everything can get locked on your truck. So if maybe you're storing your, your trailer someplace, you want to be able to lock everything up, you can. I, I like this. It seems to be very well thought out, very simple. But um, we're going to try it out and see how it works. So we'll head over to the trailer right now and, and uh, put everything in this and see what it looks like. So this bracket sits on your frame right here. And like I said, you have the option. You can permanently mount it using like a large hose clamp or zip ties through these slots here and down here. And it would tighten it right up to the frame and you could just keep it there all the time if you want to. Now, the idea here is you take your hitch receiver and you slide it right in there like that. Obviously you want to have a ball cover on it because that's going to be greasy as you can see. I'm getting greasy as it is. But it gets this up off the ground and away from the dirt that you don't want to get in this part of the hitch. <clears throat> now one thing we did notice in trying this is that the idea here is you want to put your bars into this position. Because of the air airstream uh, tongue is rather short, there's really not room to slide the bars in there. And then with our particular hitch, this bracket sits out a little too far. And so we can't really get our bars in there, unfortunately. I don't, it's a little bit of a drawback for an airstream, but I don't think it's a major drawback. From my perspective, I would I would still set this up this way. I, I probably would store my bars on the battery cover behind it, like that. You can see back there. One other thing is you can put your receiver pin through here. I may have to let's see if I can turn this around because I'm Better. There. Probably better like this, having the greasy side inside. And, well, I can't put my pin back in there. So that's a little bit of a disappointment, too. That this, uh, this is, whoop, never mind. It just, it just fit itself. I had it the wrong way. And so now it's fitting in there. And this is our first time we've really used this. So we're kind of learning with you guys. But now you, I can put my pin back in. And again, this could be a little bit of a theft deterrent that you're not going to be able to take. If you had this bracket attached to your frame, you would not be able to pull your hitch out of here as easily because this would have to be removed. But you can use a lock on it and the lock can go through some of these holes and go through your uh, here instead of you having your pin in there and lock it still overall i like the idea that this is a way you can get your hitch up off the ground and i think it's something we're going to use we will give you some more feedback as we go down the road with it but i think it looks pretty decent what do you think diane you're on the other side of the camera 
Yeah, I think I think it looks decent. I think it, I think it's a a good um, solution. Solution to uh, where to, what to do with your hitch when you're you know when you don't have it on your vehicle. So yeah, I think uh, yeah. And I think having the cover over this would be a good would be good too. Right. Or get it out of the weather. Right, and it wouldn't. We're kind of a deterrent to, to and address it, yeah, or because you won't be able to see it and address right. it up so it's you know doesn't right. look, yeah. All in all, it's a very good product, um, yeah, yeah, it's very well made. Um, I think it's a win, it's not perfect, and I'm sure it's going to vary f per trailer mm -hmm. and what type of hitch you have on here, wh mm -hmm. what model. Um, this is an equalizer hitch, and so the brackets are just a little bit different. and not working out perfectly, but you know, that's a little bit to be expected, I guess. Right, it's, yeah, it's brand new, so obviously, usually new products, you know, need a little bit tweaking here and there, but yeah, all in all, it's, it's a very good product, and we would definitely recommend it. Yeah, I think the price point on this was around $80. 80, $89. $89. So it's not that expensive that you can pick one up and try it. Um, I, I, I give it a thumbs up. It's definitely something we're going to use more. And uh, we'll give you some more feedback as we uh, continue to use it. How, how much are they and how can people get a hold of you guys to get one? So, great. So we, um, they can find us on easystorehitch.com. So it's actually easy, S-T-O-R, hitch.com. Okay. And so all purchases can be made there. We're also on Amazon. So our prices for the full versions are $189. For our lights are $89. Okay. Nice. One more thing. If you buy one of these, they will send you a vinyl cover so that once everything's on your trailer, you can cover it all, so it's out of the weather too. So there's a free hitch head cover here that you can order, and it looked pretty neat. They showed us one at the show, and definitely we're gonna do that. It's been a few weeks since we uh, got this from Easy Store, and this Easy Store hitch is working out pretty well. I like how it kinda gets everything up off the ground, and so it's not subject to picking up dirt or anything, which is gonna be an issue with you know the greasy points on this. Um, I can't store the bars on here per how they would be done because of positioning on the A-frame and such, but I'm storing the bars across the top of the battery box, which works out fine for me. The cost on this is $89. If you order using our code, which is Zephyr Travels, um, it will be down below in the video, you can get 10% off of this. We get a little bit of a kickback from that on each one of these sold, so we, we appreciate if you use our code. Our code, we can apply that money towards future travels and future videos for you guys. Um, let me know if you've got one of these or if you're thinking about getting one. Um, leave a comment below and until uh, the next time we will see you guys down the road. Take care.